Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, look. I think as content creators, we really need to start being less professional and more authentic. What y'all think? Leave it in the comments below because I really feel like a lot of YouTubers are portraying this professionalism and then behind the scenes, they're just crazy as everybody else, you know? But hey, that's just my thoughts. Mm, you know, who cares? But anyway, y'all are not here for that. Y'all are here because of being depressed and anxious about productivity, right? And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I got a nine to five job, I'm married, um, I, I have a membership for um, for good women that are heal going through a heartbreak and they're healing. Um, I got a clothing brand, I got TikTok, I got Instagram, I got a lot of shit on my plate, right? I'm constantly coming up with new designs, brainstorming, you know, plus working on myself, plus making time for family, like, I got a lot of shit on my plate, man. And I ain't even got kids yet. <laughs> ain't that a blip? Hey, but look, hey, look, I'm here though. I'm here because the thing is, man, what I what what I want to share with y'all with productivity is it's a culture right now. And if you're not productive, apparently you're just wasting your life. No, man, it's not the case. You are not waste. Let me tell you something. Any time that you take off for yourself is healthy for yourself. My, my leg is cramped, but let me move this shit. <laughs> but um. And move this up a little bit. But yeah, anytime that you take off for yourself is healthy, man. Don't ever feel guilty for taking time off to watch a show or watch a movie or spend time with your girl or your family or whatever the case may be. Do not feel guilty for that shit. Because I know productivity will make you feel guilty for being with your loved ones, your friends, or, you know, just taking time off for yourself. Or maybe just laying on a freaking couch like this. Just... <sighs> How many times have you been productive all day, right? And then suddenly you, get, you feel like you're burnt out, you know, and all of a sudden now you got a to-do list and you only checked off like three out of 10 things and you're like, fuck, man, I got so much to do. And all of a sudden now you start, you get depressed. Next thing you know, you open up the fridge and you, you, you start eating shit you ain't supposed to be eating. And then, or you go to the store, buy something you ain't even supposed to buy because now you're trying to feed your depression. All of a sudden now you got anxious because, excuse me, but you got anxious and now you just your mind is all over the place. You can't focus, and productivity will do that shit to you, man. It's, it, it's, it's, it will ruin the fuck at you. But how did I how did I conquer this? It wasn't too long ago, too. It was only like what I, I would actually say about a month ago that I have actually found the system that works for me. I'm not, I don't know if it's gonna work for you, but what I have learned is that the thing is, some people they put on their to do list the hardest tasks first. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. do the easy task first even though the hardest task is what needs to be done how can you do what the fuck needs to be done if your brain is not like triggered to do things that needs to be done it has to be primed it has to be amped up all right it, it, like some people really depend on motivation to really boost them to get the shit done for me i depend on discipline i don't give a fuck about motivation even though it's necessary motivation is necessary yes i share a bunch of motivational videos i get it right but that's just for the youtube algorithm if it wasn't for the algorithm i would not even put motivation in there right but what I've learned is that discipline is key, right? And the thing is, I only have two days off out of the week. And I have to get a lot of shit done for my brand, for my TikTok, for my YouTube. For And I stopped posting every day on my YouTube because I thought that posting every day was going to grow my YouTube channel. To <laughs> Didn't happen that way. You know, so I realized that now I just need to make quality videos on quality topics and just let it grow on its own. Because I got three YouTube channels, three. I got a travel channel, I got a, a, a luxury channel, and I got this one for myself, right? And I'm doing a lot of shit, man. I got a lot of shit on my plate, you know what I'm saying? So what I usually do when I'm at work, I'm I'm, I'm working on my focus. What I, what I need to do when I get off work. My to-do list, I try to keep it at least two to three things that I can knock out. That's simple. I'm priming myself up here. I'm priming myself up here, right? When you achieve one small goal, your mind goes, whoo, I'm ready for another one. Let's go. It's just like if you want $100, don't you want two? Don't you want three? 
<laughs> like what the, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you have a successful business, don't you want to make more profit? Who doesn't? You know what I'm saying? It's not like you're killing people to make profit. It's like you're giving a product and services and it's helping people. It's making an impact. So why not scale the shit and make more money? You know, you feel me? So that's how the brain works, right? So same goes with productivity, right? Train your brain to accomplish small things at a time. Don't force your brain to do big things that it, it's not even ready to do yet. It's like when you go in the gym. Do you go in there and go the heaviest weight possible? No, man. You got to stretch. You got to warm up, get the blood flowing, all of that shit, right? Same goes with productivity. You're not even getting your brain flowing. How the hell are you going get, to get it to get everything done? That's why you're going to be depressed and anxious all the freaking time because you're like, oh, my God, I got all this shit to do and I can't get it done, right? I've been there only less than 45 days ago I was there. Right. But what I've been doing, man, when I'm at work, I focus on what I need to get done. And the thing is, when I get off work, I'm like, OK, I got one to two hours, one to two, one, maybe three hours, right? Three hours max, one hour bare minimum. Right. So depending on how many hours I have, I have a long to do list. Right. So what I usually do is I try to get done with at least one to three things every day. So when a weekend comes, I got time for everybody else. I got time for myself, I got time for my wife, I got time for my family, I got time for the things I want to fucking do, I got time to for my membership, you know, like, my focus is not killing me on the weekend and weekends and be like, oh my god, I got all this shit to do and I'm not going to get it done, and it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to be like that, you want to be in a position, in a mental space where you're at peace, and not in pieces, and that's what's tripping a lot of people, because they have a long fucking to-do list and they look at the to-do list and I'm like, man, I got so much shit to do. I don't know where to start. You literally have the whole map in your hands and you still don't know where to start. If you've ever been like that, man, drop it in the comments because I'm telling you right now, I have been there, y'all. I would look at my to-do list and I'm like, what the? F like, how do I start, y'all? It should be, uh, you know what I'm saying? But um, when I get off work, when I'm at work, I drill inside of my subconscious. What I've learned is that the mind is a powerful place, man. And when you drill inside of your mind that the shit is overwhelming, you get anxious. But when you drill inside of your mind that the shit is conquerable, that's a word. I don't think that's a word. But if you drill inside of your mind that this shit is doable, you're going to do it. Regardless of how you feel, I've noticed once I start doing that shit, when I got home, I don't even, like, I turn my emotions off. You don't need emotions all fucking day, y'all. You don't need to feel all freaking day. Turn that shit off. Don't think that you're going to become this emotionless robot. No. When you're in productivity mode and you know you got shit to get done, turn your emotions off. Like, quit having that shit on and becoming an emotional wreck. Because I promise you, that's why you're depressed and anxious all the freaking time. You're miserable and you can't get shit done. Right? And I'm just keeping it real with y'all because I, I had to keep it real with myself because I realized that. You never gonna get shit done if you don't get your mind right. You gotta get your mind right if you're trying to get shit right. You feel me? So I used to work on my focus at work. I'm working on my focus. Okay, what do I need to get done? You know the saying that goes, focus on one thing and master that shit. That's what I was doing. I know I have a to-do list of 10 to 12 fucking things that I need to get done, but I focus on the one to two things. One to two things that I need to do when I get off work. I don't focus on any shit else. Okay, I don't focus on anything else. I don't focus on anything else. Even if I have more shit to do, I just put it on a to-do list and keep it there. Right? And I focus on one to two things. Next thing you know, by the time it's Friday, I'm knocking down shit left and right. I'm like, okay, I see this is making progress. And I like that. And the thing is, progress leads to happiness. It leads to satisfaction. It leads to peace. It leads to motivation. It leads to just you being in a better place mentally and if you can't be in a better place mentally productivity is not going to be productive for you you hear me pause that video and repeat that shit again right because i'm gonna tell you right now man productivity is killing everybody because it's killing them with guilt depression anxiety and it's like uh, oftentimes they're just like effort like fuck it like what's what's the point you know what i'm saying like and all of a sudden now you start to feel like you a failure you're not a failure you just haven't found your system find your groove Find your system. Find a way you can maneuver through your task without guilt and without feeling like overwhelmed and shit, man. Like, it's not such a big deal as you make it seem to be. And yes, I know some of the shit that got, it got deadlines, right? But if you don't do it small, how you gonna do it big? You feel me? So, when you got, when you got shit to do, man, conquer it 
one day at a time, small task at a time, and eventually that shit compounds, man. Just like compounding interest. You know what I'm saying? It shit compounds. Okay? Don't feel it. Don't. Work on the small shit, man. When you at work, when you at work, whenever you by yourself, you know, sometimes you may have to work around people. I work by myself. Even though I'm working around people, yes, but most of the times I'm by myself, you know? So, I'm, uh, you're always in your own head. See, if you know you're going to be in your head, you might as well be the leader inside of your own head. Don't be the don't be the slave. Don't be the idiot that just walks around inside of your own head all day and believing all the shitty thoughts. Like, you are the leader. You better beat the shit out of every thought that you got in there and be like, yo, y'all better listen to me because I run shit in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get your negative thoughts right. Like, you don't need to listen to your negative thoughts and be like, man, I'm fucking failure, I'm unworthy, and I can't get shit done. No. You know what I used to do when I don't get shit done? I go buy a bunch of cake and I eat it with milk. <laughs> I'm being vulnerable here, y'all. Like, <laughs> I don't share that shit with people. Like, I'm sharing it with y'all, though. Because I know y'all be doing some weird shit when you feel like a failure. Okay? Some people overeat. Some people overwatch TV. What, what, what do you do when you feel like a failure? Drop it in the comments. Because I'm going to tell you right now, we all do some weird shit whenever we feel like a failure. But now, I don't do this shit. If I crave cake, I go get it and I get it over with. I don't go eat it because I feel like a failure. That's one thing you got to really pay attention to. If you're feeding your depression or you're not. Right? But hey, man, I hope this video helps with your productivity and understand that it's okay if you don't get everything done. You don't have to get everything done. Just get one small, just knock them out one piece at a time, one piece at a time. If y'all want to make, or if y'all want me to make more videos like this, drop it in the comments. Let me know. I got a lot more topics I want to share y'all. So, but now I'm just going to, I'm just going to be posting once a week. So I'm done with the everyday shit because apparently my channel didn't like grow substantially with posting every day. It was just a testing phase for me. And it it worked, but it didn't work like I wanted it to. So I don't see the point. But um, I'm doing it once a week, one quality topic. I almost said quantity. Those two words be fucking with me, y'all. But <laughs> anyways, um, I'm pretty sure this video is not going to be monetized as much because I just dropped the F-bomb so much. But man, who cares? You know what I'm saying? I'm here to give value. If y'all got the value, drop it in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.